one source for news. Good afternoon, everybody. I am Chip Brewster coming to you live from Sebring. And I know when I say Sebring, you think first of the raceway. But if you haven't actually made it out to downtown Sebring, it has got a lot going on. First of all, it's gorgeous. You got this Circle Park Drive okay. thing, lots of little shops, little options, including the one that we are featuring here today. And it's the place you can wet your whistle family friendly, of course, and that would be Sebring Soda and Ice Cream Works. Liz Barber, co-owner of Sebring Soda, and we're going to learn a little bit about this establishment. So let's begin with the backstory. You didn't start it, but you did patronize it and then decide to buy it. That's so it. let's start That's there. It. Yeah, what did you know of it before you became the owner? Uh, well, I was a consumer of the brand. Ah, That's right. Of, well, and, and real consumer. important, we actually have some video inside that we want to show everyone as well while you're talking. So go ahead. Awesome. So um, we actually purchased the business two years ago, but this is its fifth anniversary. August 1st is the fifth anniversary. Oh, cool. So we're really excited about that. Um, I probably drank too many sodas in the time when it wasn't our business, but, <laughs> but the owner decided to retire and it just kind of fell on our lap and here we are now when you came in as a customer were you always trying something new or did you just have a favorite that you came back for? uh i'm not that adventurous really so it was always uh, an orange cream soda was okay my thing. all right cool and, and the reason i bring that up is it, it's like in the name throughout the year the calendar year because you rotate seasonally mm -hmm. you have about 250 different sodas that come through here oh, how do you too. track them down where do they come from you know, we're really lucky. We have a great distributor um, that has about 200 something of them, but we get some others from different <laughs> random places as well. Some of them are all over the world. Awesome. Now yep. we've got a little sampling set up here and so to really discover all the options, you're going to have to come down here yourself. But if you come back out to me, Liz is going to walk me through these five that she has cracked open. And we're going to start on this end with the Moxie. Moxie. What is Moxie? Moxie is very unique. Moxie is actually the oldest soda in the United States. It's older than really? Coca-Cola. Wow. It is the official uh, beverage of the state of Maine. I will tell you, it tastes like medicine. I think it's terrible. Oh. Um, but if anybody for, is from New England, they will fight you on it. I don't want to fight anybody. It's no. good. <laughs> Everybody in New England thinks it's amazing. I okay. think it's terrible. Interesting. Worth a try. I'll say that. Worth a try. <laughs> How about Mr. Cucumber? That is out of uh, Miami, and that is natural oh, cool. cucumber extract. Super oh, refreshing. Super smell cucumber. Yeah, cool. it would definitely be good mixed with a, a drink, too. Wow. Wow. I've never had a cucumber soda. <laughs> Moving on. Toxic slime. That is Interesting. A, yeah, Toxic Slime is actually a blue raspberry orange soda. Sounds terrible, but it is from the Totally Gross Soda brand. Not and gross at all. No, that actually reminds me of like a snow cone it's or something. It's very kind of good, there. yes. And then this guy, Manhattan yeah. Espresso? It is made, yes. It is uh, It is hand roasted. Oh, yeah. Yep, beans out of Brooklyn, New York. And that has also been around since the 1800s. Better than Moxie. I'm sorry, Maine. A lot Mainers, better. <laughs> Maine folks. And then finally, we're going to end with this guy, the Blonde Barrel Aged Root Beer. That just sounds good. And it is made with brown sugar. So that's what gives it that really different color. And um, it mm. is barrel aged, so it tastes like a cream soda and a root beer mix. Oh, yeah. And you can keep your orange cream. I'm going to take that yes. every time I come here. Now, the name is Seabree Soda and Ice Cream Works, guys, which means coming up in about 30 minutes, we're going to show you the other side of the store. And trust me when I say, please stick around. They've got this thing called the Super Sunday Challenge. Oh, Super, Super Sunday oh, Challenge, something like that. that sounds you got good. Me Sunday. That's all I'm going to say. I, and I so enjoyed your faces Crazy. while you're trying. I know. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's get, let, we're, we're scoring. I'm bringing it. this one back for you guys. Oh, thank Monty. you. We have Chip, people from Maine are calling the newsroom now. They want to fight you over over Moxie now. They're fired up. I no, know. it's good, I swear. It's so good. <laughs> all right, thanks, Chip. We're still ahead. From Barack Obama.